Hi everyone, this is Lisa from Canine Clips. And this is Andy, and Andy is a Bichon Shih Tzu, and we're going to be doing the full grooming process on her today. So I'm just going to get started with that. We're going to be doing a number five blade on her. Andy has a little bit hard, hard time seeing. She's uh, actually 17 years old, if you can believe it. She looks pretty good for a senior dog. She's still going on regular walks with her owners. She's been coming to me for many years. And her eyes are quite crusted up. So I'm actually not going to go dig in them right now. I'm going to wait till after the bath um, because then they'll loosen up a little bit for me so I can kind of get underneath them. I don't want to really dig in there because they're quite thick and that's just going to cause her some discomfort. So I'll take off whatever I can on the outer of it, but I'm not going to worry about getting underneath them right yet. ears are nice and healthy just a little bit of hair in there but not too much Okay, so I'm going to do the plucking of the ears. Okay, your ears are nice and healthy. There's just a little bit of hair in them. Okay. Great. So they're a nice color. And a nice beige color. That's a good sign of a nice healthy ear. Okay, so just a little bit of hair in there. Let's see if I can get it against her. There you go. But not too much, as I said. So nice and healthy. Okay, so I'm going to get started just on her feet right now. Yeah, and then do her nails. Grab the clippers. And I'm just going to raise the table up a bit so I don't have to bend her legs too much. Her 
little bit sensitive in our feet. They're a little bit matted in there. So I'm just going to kind of dig them out with my fingers before I go in with the scissors. When I do that, I just take little snips at a time. If they are really deep in there, I probably would use the clippers just to get underneath it and then finish up with the scissors. But since they're not right down, I can, usually I prefer the scissors to get in there because then dogs with sensitive feet aren't as squirmy with the blades in there. I know. Telling me a story. All right, there's one. Little bit sensitive feet. So if you're interested in seeing closer up videos of me just doing the feet or the nails, I do have some of those as well. I also have many other full grooms or just the before and after or just the after of um, the different breeds that I groom as well. So there's a variety of videos for you to check out if you're interested. I'd also like it if you subscribe to my channel. I do post videos every day. So there's always something new coming on. I don't do any editing in my videos, so it's just how it is when I groom, this is what you see. I don't use any restraints, and I just use uh, holding techniques so that the dogs can still move around. And sometimes they move quite a bit if they're brand new puppies or they've had previous bad experience with a groomer but they do settle with the techniques and then by the second time they come in for grooming they're actually way better behaved for me so this takes a little bit of extra work for my part but I'd rather do that than uh, have any dog injured by having any restraints on them okay You can also post a comment in any of the videos and I'll be happy to answer or if there's anything specific you'd like to see. I can uh, also try to get that on for you as well. Um, I have uh, taken the time to create a whole bunch of playlists so hopefully that'll be that'll help you to find whatever if you're trying to find something specific as well so you don't have to try to go through all the videos. I think I have, I have quite a few playlists. So that will hopefully help you out as well. It's okay, Andy. I know you're tired. You're done with me. I'm just a little bit of a talker.
And like I said, she's 17 years old, so she's doing pretty good. Yeah, you tell them. nails are a little bit long that's kind of common with the older dogs because even if they are getting walked regularly they're not pulling anymore like when they were puppies they just they just walk with their owners a little bit more be well behaved so they're not kind of scraping their nails off on the cement as much so their nails do tend to grow a little bit longer in between grooms And she still likes her walks. She's just not as feisty on her walks anymore. bit of more thickness under there so oh, watch out my buddy <laughs> little bit sensitive feet so I'm just gonna dig under it And I'll trim it up a bit. I only like to keep it a little shorter, just like the ears. in here to make sure nothing's sticking which there is not so that when I'm giving the bath I can give her a nice good cleaning I'll just trim the top of her face a little bit head a little bit better said in here it's quite thick so I'm gonna wait till I get in the tub and I'll give them a nice rub to hopefully loosen that fur up in there all right so time for the tub time Thank you. 
loosen those eyes up a little bit. I know. so they should be able to get under them. When I dry her with a towel too, I'll kind of massage that area as well. So hopefully we'll loosen it up a little bit more. Okay. Okay, you ready? Come here. Got her in a towel here, just waiting to table to lower. Okay, there you go. There you go. Okay. We'll see how she does with the blow dryer. Sometimes when the dogs are older, they really don't like it. So we'll see how she does. I'll blow dry her a little bit. She doesn't like me uh, even towel drying her face, so I'm just going to leave that alone. It's okay. You don't like a towel, eh? Okay. Okay, right, so I'll towel dry. We'll see how the blow dryer goes. I'm going to put on her earmuffs. Okay, okay, shake it out. Come here, baby. Hey, hey, hey. It's okay. She may not like that either. Hey, it's okay. No, she doesn't want those either. So I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna continue on, but I'm gonna go straight to the clipping of the fur and uh, just trim it, trim it wet. Cause I don't wanna really um, blow dry her without the muffs on. But once I cut off the bulk of the fur, then I'll do a little bit of a blow dry. But I don't think she's going to like it, so I really don't want to put that extra stress on her at this time. Okay, let's see if I can get under here. There you go. Good girl. Yeah. You can see her clumps under her eyes. It's okay. So what is done? It's okay. Hey, hey, it's okay. I'm going to see if I can get that other one here. She's being a little sensitive to it. It's okay. It's okay. 
Ja, okay. And I'm just going to grab some paper towel. Okay. Let's see if I can kind of get in there a little bit. Just going to moisten it a little. Just try to loosen that area. Come on, baby. I know. <laughs> I don't know. You don't like that at all. Oh, baby, I'm not even touching it. Okay, right, she does not like that face. Okay, so we're going to come back to that. We're going to start trimming up the body. That's what happens when they get a little bit older. Uh, they just don't tolerate some stuff anymore like they used to. So you just gotta, you gotta work with them, come back to it. You don't wanna stress them out. Guess they've earned it by being around all these years. Come here. Sometimes when they get a little older, um, they aren't maybe done as beautifully as you used to do it because they don't want to hold still or you can't restrain them. I can't restrain them the same way because their joints may be a little bit more sensitive or just that they're really resistant. Just work with them as I can. Come on, baby. blade on the inside. And I just noticed one of your nails is bleeding here, so just gonna put some septic powder on it. Come here, baby. And we're on this one. Okay. I know, there you go. You just dip the feet in it to stop the bleeding. Clots it up. Okay, let's do this leg. Do the inside with a number 10. That will cause her the least amount of stress, so we'll clean it up really nice. Okay. Thank you. 
front. Right now. Sometimes with the older dogs too, they have uh, some teeth and plaque um, that maybe is causing them a little bit of irritation. So it's hard to hold on to their mouth. Basically, if they're I want to make sure that I'm not causing any discomfort when you hold that. I don't put too much pressure on there and let them move. And I'll release it quite quickly as well if they give me too much resistance. This one's a little bit different when the senior dog. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to do the number 10 on the inside of the leg again in the front. Just finish up with the scissors. Kind of like a combination groom to cause her the least amount of distress. Okay, there you go. All right, now we'll start the other side. Okay, good girl. Go. 
continue with the number five. A little bit more loose skin in the belly area, especially when I see in your dog. So I'll come back, I'm going to do some scissor cutting there, and then I'll come back and do a number 10 under the belly. Um, kind of when I do the back leg there, I'll do that. I guess I can continue with the number five. Oh. <laughs> She's ready for me to take her down and go home. get the number 10 out I'll do the number the bum area as well. Get that all nice and close. So let's do clean. and use some scissors a little bit. It's okay. I know. Uh, a little bit of a mat there. There you go. It's okay. It's okay. So I'm going to try, go back to the face, and see if she'll let me get in there a little bit. There we go. Good girl. Well, lucky. Anyway, it's a pretty, pretty big goober, I'll call it. My technical term. There we go. Good girl. Still a little irritated in there, so I'll try to... Get it as close as I can, and that just helps the owner when she's trying to wipe it and keep it clean. Well, at least she got let me get it out of there. It's, it's pretty close in there already. I 
she does move around quite a bit so I'm just gonna leave it again for now it's okay I'm not gonna go in there it's okay I'm just gonna do this yeah I'm just gonna do this <laughs> she doesn't want me near her eye again there we go see not going there I'm not going there little baby okay you let me in there. She does not want me back there, so I'm just going to leave it. I'll try to trim around here. If she'll let me. Uh huh. There we go. I know. Okay. Yeah, good girl. Okay, so that is our girl. So I'm just going to leave her at this state. She's going to be a little damp for the owner, um, but I'm going to go over her just quickly again with the number five. Just because she's uh, stressed out of me wiping her head with a towel and she doesn't want me to put the earmuffs on, I don't really want to use the blow dryer on her to stress her out. So, And when you're 16, you can earn that privilege in dog years. Right. I guess in human years, so in dog years, if you time by seven. At 42. Oh yeah, that would make her 102, I think, if I'm correct. So she really definitely earned her. Earned her right to say no. So as it's dried a little bit here, um, still able to clean up a little bit more off of her. still give it a nice clean cut even though it's damp nice and warm out today so she'll be fine Okay, so I'm just going to put some solution in her ears and I'm pretty confident I'm not going to be able to brush her teeth since she won't really let me near her mouth. So I don't think I'm going to and I'll just let the owner know. Again, it's just when they're at this age, I don't really want to use any restraints to um, hold her in place because their bones and everything are a little bit more delicate at this age. Um, and uh, the best thing you can do for them is to let them chew on hard material. Her teeth actually look pretty good for her age. She's got a little bit of plaque buildup, but uh, so that gives her teeth a little bit more sensitivity, but she's actually in really good shape there. So, so here we go. So here is a the finished grooming of, uh, of uh, Andy and uh, so we did a number five on her so thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the video if you do please subscribe to my channel and uh, just let me know if you'd like to see something different in the comments I hope you have a great day I appreciate your time and thanks for watching and I hope you have a great day bye bye